Okay, everybody, welcome back to Uncharted Waters Origin. It's kind of late right now, so I've got to keep my voice down. Down, 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 down. But, uh, I, I was up, I couldn't sleep, I thought I would make a video for the channel. Instead of playing something else. I do like this game, so anyway, I guess I'll get to uh, a little bit on battle. I'll try to make this a somewhat short video. I probably won't do more than 15 or 20 minutes, but... Uh, I wanted to talk about some battle things. Uh, battle power, that's usually uh, an estimate, a guesstimate. Depending on your fleet's ability, you'll be able to see whether or not they can... Um, you know, the odds of you winning. But anyway, if you click on your ship, and then the magnifying glass, and then you pull up details, right? We have ship expertise, and this helps you see your battle potential on the ship. So if I click artillery, these mates on this specific ship have this ability. And on the next level, they'll have this ability with artillery. Now, although it's an artillery class ship, that doesn't mean it only needs artillery. We can go to ramming, which is already level 3. And our critical chance is still almost 30%. You know, the next level, it'll be 40%, even though it's an artillery ship. So, it's the same with support for healing and medicine, and repair recovery. And then there's melee. It's the same thing. So, this is how you see your mate's potential on a ship. The ship stats, for this having a little boost to artillery strength, yeah, that does mean that the artillery will be a bit more effective, but you don't have to just use artillery with this ship. So, don't worry about it, don't overthink it too much if you're still new to this game. I would say what matters most is getting a ship you like, and make sure you have the ability to sail it. This ship, the Esmeralda, you need at least a 41 in adventure to be able to use it to its potential. And I believe in this game, not only is there a deficit, like a penalty, if you're under level, but I believe you get a boost for up to three additional levels. So I should be able to sail a ship like this to its fullest ability when I get my adventure level to 44. All right? So... That's just an example of, uh, <laughs> or an explanation the best I can interpret it and uh, help explain it to somebody who's trying to figure it out. So yeah, you know, you can use whatever ship you like for certain things. And, uh, really what matters the most is your mate's battle level. Honestly. No matter what these numbers say on the, uh, mates, that's all you really need is uh, the ability to sail it properly, you know? You can have the best sword in the world, but if you don't know how to use it, someone with a pointed stick will disarm you. <laughs> so, anyway, I guess I'll do one mission, and I'll, I'll keep this short. As you can see, I managed to get some gear. I mean, this was all free stuff. I kept doing monthly events. Uh, you go into missions task weekly gives free tickets and monthly gives five so you know if you're patient you can get this stuff for free like I did so yeah you know you don't have to pay to win <laughs> you can play how you want all right so I get this quest here I picked up I'm gonna do real quick just one of these and then I'll call out this episode so there's a lot of ins and employees who work there and another debate takes place regarding which employee is the best okay well let's, let's go around port to port because I should be talking to the uh, bar staff more often let's see here <laughs> 
Sounds like trouble. Hmm. I'll be neutral. <laughs> Might not come back. Yeah, kind of could. <laughs> uh huh. I'm sure I read all that down. Yeah, she appears up and talks to me every time I stop here because I haven't finished the main Hello. line yet. Hello, goodbye. Okay, so we're going to Seville first. setting sail. Yes, I am. Towards the next open waterway. All right, let's go. Right, I guess I'll turn the music back up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just in the background. And here's my glorious ship, the Esmeralda Cannon Class. Yeah, I guess some sail paint design so far. Um, what else could I say about the game? Um, I did start this. Uh, I did start playing this game like a year ago on the Coral Sea server, which you may or may not have seen me make videos about or talk about. Um, that server is definitely further ahead. Than this one is. It's kind of like, you know, that's where they're testing everything, I guess. They're already going, pushing the end game and all that. So, this server I'm on, the um, global launch, this is the Atlantic server through Steam. And it is just a little behind in updates. So, I'm hoping they release more things soon. I'm not going to say what because they could do it all differently, but. I would like to see those fleet formations, which we're going to need blue gems for, but hey, they're worth it, which if you don't know, I mean, I'll just pull it up again real quick if I go back into my fleet. And here's the default formation. Eventually, there should be a whole bunch of formations here for different tactics, you know? I mean, maybe you just want to duel every ship you come across instead of cannons and ramming. You know, maybe that's how you want to play. <laughs> Capture every ship. There's a lot of different ways you can play this. People haven't really even discovered yet. Um, okay, so we're going to the inn. Hmm. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> Just drink yourself to sleep, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> slam. What the? Hello. Okay. Welcome to our tavern. Hey, Diane's here. Trading. I'll take care of it. She's a great trader. Can I help you? There's her backstory. <laughs> but um, I'm not focused on getting more mates right now. I am focused on ships and ship parts. She'll be back. I'll get her eventually. Whoopsie. Knock something over. Alright, I'm fine. <laughs> now we gotta go to Porto. Oh, are you setting sail? So we're sailing around, meeting the uh, bar maidens, the waitresses. Porto up this way, not clicky clicky. All right, let's go. Yeah, I've been focused on adventure for a while till I get more mates up to the class I want them to be to uh, sail these 
as fast as possible. I'm pulling pretty swift right now. I mean, if I check my fleet speed while I'm sailing, it depends on the wind. If you check it while you're in port, you get more of an average idea. I mean, it changes sometimes. If I was in a headwind, this would display lower. But, uh... Yeah, having the right level for a ship does affect its speed. Going 14 knots is a pretty good average. Like, it doesn't take you more than a few minutes to get around. And that's another reason I chose this class of a ship. It's pretty good. If it has a vertical or horizontal sail over 400, there's a decent chance you uh, might go over 15 knots or so. If it's a uh, speed of under 400, it might be pretty slow. It's kind of turtle area. But if you're sailing battleships, that's fine. They're not the fastest. You can't expect to have um, a swift warship, at least in these right now, I guess. <laughs> I mean, depending on your level. So next time I was thinking I might pull up the uh, audio playlist from uh, the other Uncharted Waters online, as it's known. A good soundtrack. You know, before I was goofing around and Quake and laughing at everything, uh, this is one of the last games I played on console, like, forever ago. I loved it. Uh, the uh, Uncharted Waters 2, New Horizons. I might do something in VR again. I don't know. There's a lot of things I gotta make time for. Alright, here we go. Porto. Alright then. To the end. Just for a bit. Mm, something like that. <laughs> I don't have any. Bordeaux next. All right. Welcome to our tavern. Hello, goodbye. All right. Maps is this way. This is a pretty easy quest, I guess. Let's go around. Oh, are you setting sail? Easy adventure XP. All right, let's go. Here we go. Did I pull the uh, world map up yet? This, so this is pretty much where I've been. To India and back, so and I was ping ponging from the North Sea to just uh, Cairo and Alexandria, and sometimes I jump over to South America, and then eventually I could get to India. I just been going from India back to the North Sea, all the way down, all the way back up with goods. So I mean, I know I'm like 10 levels ahead since the last video, but really I've just been going back and forth, adventuring and, you know, getting, uh, getting my ropes down, my trading, my battle power up. In the meantime, I can always try and fish. See if we can catch something. I'm not even going to use bait. <laughs> Which increases the odds of like getting something rare, but I'll wait till a boost event before I use a boost item. Yeah, gotten fairly good at that. Let's try another one. See if we get something rare. Huh? There you go. Oops, dang it. <laughs> I done goofed. 
Ah, oh, but I managed it. I think one of my mates has the angler skill, so I get plus one to fishing. Come on. Come on. You know you want to bite. You know you want to bite. Oh, well, look at that massive beast. Super easy. Okay, what's that? Oh, we got two more days, one more day. Okay, about 13 knots. Not bad. Where's my? I have this button. Zoom in on the deck. Yes, I have a clown. <laughs> There's always one. So this is neat being able to zoom in at least this much. Oh, it's, you know, they remove the masts when you do this. But it's, you know, it's a nice looking model of a ship. And this is Unreal Engine, right? So they could really, really take this visually. And we're right, here. Let's go. I think we're almost done. Uh, mm -hmm. where am I going? The end. Okay. Follows fails. Click on the mission. <laughs> let's just run there. Hmm. I'd love some wine. Farewell then. <laughs> That's good. Oh, now I gotta sip my drink. Yep, that's really good. It feels like it's going to crack open. Antwerp is the next destination. Hello, welcome to our tavern. Hello, goodbye. All right, Antwerp it is then. Welcome. Are you preparing to depart now? All right, let's go. And we're off. I guess I'll zoom into the uh, deck view here. Just another way to look at the game while we're sailing. Yeah, I don't have a script with me, so, you know. I could pull up my mates. This is who I got so far. I only get some promotions in. Yeah, how lucky to dare you glare at me. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, I was lucky to get him gold. So he has what's his name? Yeah, it's another Joao. But seventy I can get skilled sail handling and these adventure mates have this to increase the fleet speed. So that's always helpful. And he has rowing, so we get him on a galley ship he go even faster. Really, that's the big goal in this game is to get fast as soon as possible. Because you start off really slow, even with boosts. Like, if you don't have these mates ranked, you, don't, you do not have those skills. You have to rank them up. 
So again, this isn't a pay-to-win game. You can pay for a boost. You know, but you still gotta get there like everybody else. Not long now. Act with discipline and order. So Alonzo here is my lowest adventure level mate. He's only 38 so far. And because of that, we're right here. So he takes a penalty, 5% penalty. Same with uh, Rachel Wall. She's not 41 yet. She's 40. So she still has a 5% penalty, right? But once they're the right level, that's about what you're looking at without the penalty, you know? I mean, plus 30 on the vertical. Or horizontal, rather. Or 50 on the vertical. With the penalty... You know, it's a little redu reduced there on the, on the vertical, but the horizontal took a big hit. I think this has a horizontal part, doesn't it? No, it's a vertical, so... There's that, and also, as you get above the level of the ship, your seaworthiness can creep up a little more. So sometimes you don't need a new part, you just gotta get your levels where they're supposed to be. So you can use the ship, you know, professionally, and not like a noob. <laughs> so that helps. Man, the other thing about being in a guild, I could go over that, so here's crafting. This is helpful. And you're probably going to start with C-grade parts, because B-grade is hard to get. A-classes, like the Eden Game shit. Uh, stuff. <clears throat> so, one of the best things you can make for every ship is this uh, wave breaker shell, because it's a little bit more seaworthiness. And seaworthiness is what helps you get around the world. Of course, there's some good gear here, too. You can only make this stuff when you're in a guild that's at the right level. Probably gonna make one of these next because I got a bunch of this material for free. You know, more free stuff. Just doing the weekly and monthly events and uh, this was in one of the free tickets I got, so... Just gonna pay some in-game money to uh, craft it. And if I'm lucky, a great success will make it a great success item. You would think there'd be a stat boost, but it really isn't. It just, if, if it's a great success, you can sell it on the stock market, on, stock, on the auction house for the red gems you need to get premium items. Alright, looks like we're here. Whoop, where am I going? Yeah, go to the end, go to the end. I'm just here to rest. <laughs> You're suddenly acting nice. Then... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yawn. All right, Amsterdam is next. I did. Hello. Welcome to our tavern. Hello, goodbye. All right, we're going to Amsterdam. Always wanted to visit Amsterdam, but I never uh, oh. got to. Are you setting sail? In real life, anyway, I got to in VR. It's <laughs> Google Earth. All right, got to go everywhere. Go. <laughs> it's actually I've always played the Dutch in the um, when I played the other uh, Uncharted Waters games. In this one, I wanted to be Lisbon. I wanted to try Lisbon for a while. 
of Lisboa, as it was once known as. I'm not far from Amsterdam at all. Let's go back to the deck view. A different perspective on things here. Looks like you got red axes and blue axes and clown mask and gold padded armor. And uh, this uh, ruby red mirror eye patch I got. It's another free item. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> I wonder why they took the masks out. I mean, well, I don't know. I'm not a dev. I actually wish you could kind of run around in first person on here. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just could be fun to be able to do that. <laughs> and here we are. Click browse to go to the next screen. We should almost be done with this. Uh-oh. The game crashed. Well, I hope that doesn't interrupt this video too much. Hold on, let's see what happens. Can it restart? It's trying to. Oh good, that worked properly. That is exactly what it should do when it tries to do that. Alright, that's good to know. The game is getting more stable. And it auto recovered from a crash, so... Let's see... So I'm going to the end. Guess that's a sign we should finish this up. I can say hi. Long time no see. Have that then. She's always very bright. It even cheers me up to see her like that. Thanks, I'll enjoy them. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> Lil's honesty is her true charms. Groningen's next. This will be the last one. Alright, alright. You're up early. Hmm. Hello. Welcome to our tavern. I don't think I wanted to respond with Ugh. <laughs> it's not exactly the response I'm thinking. Just being polite. Gentlemanly and cordial. Oh, are you setting sail? Alright. I do the best I can. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. One more. I'm calling it a night. Hopefully my levels came out alright. Once again, I don't normally talk this low. It's such a low volume. It's just it's late at night. But I felt motivated. My sleep schedule's been all over the place because I've been sick. I talk about that in other videos. I'm not going to go on about it here. But I'm, um, you know, slept all day and now I'm awake at night. But it's okay if it's the weekend. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah. Who, me? I see. Hmm, but I want to know what happened. Nah, it's all right. Let's go. <laughs> Is that all of them? Each of them have their own charms, and if I ever get the opportunity, it would be nice to help them out. Yep, and employees. Character complete. I won't be defined by my days as an orphan. That's right, Ali. Alright, 
And there we go, a whole bunch of adventure XP. Big help. So yeah, employee mates. Uh, if I click employee while I'm in the inn, and she'll ask you if you want to meet her, you just pay the little <laughs> bit of uh, whatever that currency is up there, and you can give her gifts. And the one with the heart they like the most. You know, you just give her everything, really. There's no other reason to have this stuff. So you might as well... I think if I hold it, it'll count up, right? Yeah, if I click and... Well, it doesn't seem to want to do them all at once. No? Oh, it's 34. <laughs> Tired, alright. Okay, that should fill that up. Wow! How did you know? So she's all happy now, and if it's at 100%, you can get a request. And... Can't miss it, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay... I don't know. Uh, will Cornelia be safe alone? It could be dangerous. Got to follow just in case. The Bureau, you say? Okay. Well, you know, let's play this out real quick. So any one of the uh, tavern maidens at the inn can do this. These uh, can offer the employees. Cornelia should be around here somewhere. Is that her? Cornelia seems disheartened, and it's troubling me. If he had left for Athens, then he couldn't have gotten there yet. If I sail fast, I may be able to run into him on the way, or I'll be able to find him at the port. I should get going. Welcome! Are you here to make an investment? Not today. Wait, I guess I'll go to Athens real quick. You know what? Before I do, let me go to my fleet. And let's look at our average, so yeah. Alright, so my ceiling speed's about the same still for on sea and on land. So I've got about a 14 knot average, just about, just under, by 0.14, you know, what's that? What's that converted? Point, 0.04? Alright, so we want to get to Athens. There we go. Oh, are you setting sail? So can I get all the way around there if I have a 14 knot all average? Alright, let's go! Speed. Here we go, it's going up there. And I get a bit of a tailwind in my favor. So it's 12 days away. Oh, 11. And I have 12 days of food. I have... Wait, I usually only keep about 5 or 6 days of food on me, if that. Sometimes seven or eight if I'm going through certain areas. But it's fine for now. I wanted to try and keep this video short. But I figured while we were on the topic of the uh, employees, learning about them, and how you can get missions from them, all different ones from all around the world. Um, that was the point of that mission to go and meet them is to talk to them and give them gifts and then Do the task so I may as well just do this one There's definitely a lot of characters in this game So there's a lot of shipbuilding and there's a lot of you know characters and personalities and all that I mean, I'm not gonna say it's historically accurate I've some Players have like tried to cross-reference some things to see how accurate things is, but it's it's very historically influenced, you know. 
There's a lot of historical figures in this game. Let's see, should I go back into deck view? Or should I just show my ship for a bit? A different angle. So the skybox, I could talk about that a little bit. Uh, the clouds have actually gotten better since when I first started playing this on the Coral Sea server. The overhead clouds, they used to just kind of swirl in a circle above you. But now they actually look like they roll or they get this fog effect when there's a storm out. I think this server was like that when it launched, which is, you know, good. They made sure that'd be ready. It was cool to be part of the early access of the game. I kept mostly quiet, but quiet about it in the beginning because I didn't know exactly what was going on. And we just had a lot of stuff going on. But I, I started uploading some videos about the Coral Sea server. And now I'm here on this server. It's a much better connection for me in North America. Especially when I play Quake. It's hard to find an NA East server these days. Unless I go on Discord. But I just like to pop in and randomly play for an hour. There be storms out in those clouds. The clouds are attacking. <laughs> so we're moving. Look at that. Almost 16 knots. Should be moving rather swiftly. And I could still be going faster. Look at that. Nice with the tailwind and the current. Well, current's a little cross, but... It's a nice little boost. I've done I've done almost 19 knots in this ship in uh, perfect conditions. And I can still go faster. The sun and the moon could use some work. It's still nice like when it sets. But you know, see how that looks when that goes down? I mean, it is fast. You know, they get a speed up time a little bit. So there's gotta be some type of effect. And also the night sky in this. So clearly this just looks like a static painting. It'd be nice if they actually are able to make shimmering stars. You know, because this game is going to be very atmospheric. At least it should be. I mean, I, I believe it's always, it's designed mobile in mind first. And PCs like, you know, I don't even think they're bothering with much of the power. You know, this Unreal Engine, like I keep saying, which is another reason I'm excited for its future depending on where they take it. Real adventures? Where are the fake adventures? <laughs> it's likely somebody's last name. You know what? Let's learn something. Let's see if it tells us the captain. Miguel Cordereal, so that's who it was. I think I might even have that guy already. I got a few of the adventures, which is pretty good. I've been wandering in search of yep. a worthy ship to board. There's this guy. Doesn't sound like his voice at all, but all right. Explorer of Portugal, older brother of Gaspar Cordereal. Explored the coast of Labrador with his brother and charted an area of approximately 600 kilometers. Set out to find his brother once Gaspar disappeared, only to for him to disappear as well. I got a mystery there. Let's 
So we got still 10 days to Athens, huh? And that's doing roughly 14 knots all the time. Just about halfway there. I could fish or I could go and talk about... So let's see who I can promote. Only one of the battle mates. I want what? You got a problem? No, I was just looking around. <laughs> I mean, I could promote him to a uh, 99, but I don't need to till he gets, you know, gets his levels up there. I really, these silver astrolabes are super helpful. So I'm gonna hold on to those. So that for now, I could also look at, uh, you know what challenges I actually haven't even done yet? These give items. Probably get through those easily enough. This one will be a challenge. This one I... I'm probably about able to do. And this one's way in. So this one I know how to get that type of battle power, but it's gonna be a while. Enhanced Alder Board. So that's really good, but see, that's like 16 seaworthiness right there. That'll be good to have. I'll probably do that another time. I might make a video of it. I'm not always making videos because I got a lot going on and I'm not sure if I'll keep doing this. Um, I appreciate anyone who does watch me play though. Um, as you know, if the channel started growing and I started doing better content, I probably want to rename it. Crazy Eyes Gaming is kind of silly, I know, but that's, you know. Well, it reminds me just not to take things too seriously in my life anymore. I'm trying to de-stress. Yep, I do not get stressed when I play video games. I just have a good time. <laughs> if it gets laggy, I don't get frustrated. I just take off. I just go do something else, man. It's okay. I was going the other way anyway. <laughs> thought about maybe playing my guitar a little bit while I'm sailing. Right now it's late though. I have roommates. I just can't make too much noise. It's not considerate. Still renting a room. Almost bought a house once. But hey, that's a luxury a lot of people aren't able to get anyway, huh? I mean, lucky to have a room. be lucky to have a nice boat to escape from the uh, you know, all the craziness on shore <laughs> but then there's craziness at sea too isn't there oh yes there is at least I can get away for a little while Let's go pull up um, crafting, I guess, again. So another good item to have for your ship is this plunging ram. Because uh, these give almost 30 momentum, and what you need is 30 momentum to get up a lot of the rivers to get at a few places that you can you know, get to early, you know, pretty early access in the game. Once you're level 20 or 30, that range, you'll, you'll need like 25 momentum for some rivers. A little more 30. So those and the wavebreaker shells for seaworthiness. They're a big help. You know, one of these sails too are always good. Where's the anchor? 8 seaworthiness, that's great. But I might end up making a shell. It's 
iron and this is metal. I, get, I do have lots of the metal. I've been lucky. I've been getting that again free. Free tickets. Just by playing through the Chronicles. You get 10 free tickets every now and then. And when you open 10 at a time, you get a bonus one. So every 10, you exchange, you turn in, you get 11 rewards for. Yeah. It's not bad. So, so far this server has got so many, so many things are behind those tickets. And I know it's still early on this server, you know, it might be that way for a couple months. But eventually, the way the other servers did it, is the uh, mates will show up in the inn after you hire them every now and then. And you have a chance at getting contracts, so you don't have to just wait for tickets and buy tickets. And Well, we'll see what they do. I uh, can't speak in absolutes. Alright, we're five days from Athens. This will help you get a good idea of how long it might take once you're doing 14 knots average. See, I'm in a headwind. I'm doing 12.5 knots. Oh, and if I keep my eyes open, I can get these little speed boosters here that appear at random. So, click on that. And actually, while I'm on the... Um, thought of those speed boosters and the items. So there's, there are mates that have a flotsam boost. I don't have one equipped right now, but... You can call me the... Actually, it's probably an adventurer. You won't find a sailor like me anywhere. If I can find it... See, there's angler for fishing skill. So the more of that you get, the slower the bar moves to catch more fish. Um... It's a tough world out there. It won't be easy to survive. Ah, so this is one of the uh, flotsam skills I was talking about. So this is the resource gain amount when you get a flotsam. So if you get money from a pirate, uh, ghost ship, or, you know, there's one or two blue gems, you might get three. So that's one of the skills. And then there's another one. I hear the sea's calling for me. That I think increases the odds of them appearing. I'm a free spirit who wanders the ports. Here's one for increasing, uh, finding high-grade fish. Legend of fishing. Wear earplugs so sirens don't bait your sailors to their doom. Yeah, so, Ian, it's a C-class, mate. You know, uh, just because it's a C-class doesn't mean he doesn't have a proficiency in something unique. You know, some innate ubili uh, ability. I'm hey. looking for an admiral to lead me. Everyone's special in their own way, right? Unknown strengths. I don't know when these unlock. Yeah, probably 99. Like, way late in the game. Looking for sailors? So what? That's oh, a traitor. Looking for sailors? So what? Sanitation. Let's not be nasty. Keep it clean. Have good hygiene. It's number one on my list. Going next. I'd like to sail through rough waters. Mental therapy. Yeah, let's do some meditating, huh? Um. Uh. <laughs> therapy. So that's all I get for adventure mates right now. I guess you I won't find a sailor like me anywhere. Yes, I don't have anyone with the I'm anymore. I'm a free spirit who wanders the ports. Flotsam boost. This guy here has cautious explorer increase loot obtain rate, so that's very useful to have that. And also he has jewelry trade boost, which is great if you're going to India. And that is Jackie's here. Jacques Cartier. Is that how I would say that? Cartier. I don't know. I'm not gonna Google it. I'm not gonna bing it. Hi. Right. Let's see, are we near Athens yet? Two days left. Back in a tailwind. So it's not just about a horizontal or vertical sail, it's also about your ability to handle the sails. And um, if you ever played Uncharted Waters Online, you know there was a sail handling skill that with every rank you got 
better at handling the sails and all sorts of winds so you can use a horizontal or vertical sail whichever one you chose to uh, over a hundred percent of its ability so instead of them putting that skill in the game it's kind of just based on the level of the ship under adventure so it's your adventure level if your adventure level is three levels above the required adventure level of the ship you'll be able to use its sails to their fullest ability um, it might be beyond three levels by now it might be diminishing after that I don't know for certain but I believe I heard three levels above the ship's requirements is uh, gives a a boost up to three levels and maybe they'll expand that I don't know they could do whatever they want again I keep saying it's unreal engines so who knows what they'll do with it but well, that means they could do a lot and also you know I get this 4070 Ti now which was supposed to help me uh, figure out streaming better and because yeah I never got a capture card right <laughs> just try <laughs> trying to do it with this setup I had but yeah, eventually I think OBS will get AV1, is it, encoding and blah blah blah, technical whatever. Yeah. Play with that stuff more later. But anyway, here we are almost in Athens. To focus on the game, just a bit longer. Let's see what there is to see. I'll continue moving forward. I hope so. To the shipyard, then. Perhaps. Huh. A duel it is, then. Have at you. Parry, parry. Full thrust, power. thrust. Look at that. <laughs> Thousand damage. I ain't messing around. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me. This is a glass work. Why does he have something like this? It's all broken now. It seems to be impossible to put them back together. What should I do? Wait, there he goes. What am I going to do? Let's just collect the pieces and bring them back to Groningen. Um, okay. Broken glasswork. Oh, are you setting sail? All right, let's go. So, hold on a second. Well, I gotta sail all the way back, and I could, you know, edit the video and jump ahead, but why? This is the game. You know, and sometimes you can just enjoy watching it. So, the. One of the differences, you know, with the Super Nintendo version of New Horizons I played as a kid, like, you had to hold on to the directional pad if you were sailing somewhere. There was no auto-sailing. You know, you couldn't just click on a route and go. You had to hold up or hold to the right or press down. So, sailing was always engaging like that. Now that it's kind of auto-sail, you know, you can do whatever you can read a book, play an instrument, you know, watch a video. It's definitely a multitasking game, but that's mostly because, you know, it says dangerous waters up here because some pirates might attack me if I was lower level. But once your power is high enough, pirates don't mess with you because they know that you're not an easy win, you know. 
pirates are bullies. You know, all you got to do is beat them up once they start trying to fight you, and then they know you're not easy pickings. You know, it's not their fault if you have to fight them. That's the only way some people won't learn. You know? Though, so, you know, violence is never the answer. Nobody wants to be pushed to that point. But pirates are pirates, and that's why I has cannons. Another bottle, so I've been avoiding these mostly because they're just always in another direction. And they weren't worth much, but now that I'm over level 40, they start getting worth it. Like, oh yeah, next time I sell trade goods, I can get some um, parts. It's easy. That's that's one worth holding on to. Um, So this one will give 30 wooden astrolabes, which uh, promotes mates. That's good to have. And a couple of blueprints. I mean, these are low-level ships, so that's not so great. But the wooden astrolabes, especially on this server at this time, this early in the server's life, um, it would be good to have, you know, 30 of these. Yeah, that's worth getting. Um, Havana is uh, south of Erica, so I go over there sometimes, so I'll hold on to that. In these lucky letters, that it's a play. It's it's a joke. It's more of an unlucky letter because it's like a chain letter. You have to go and talk to seven port officials or, or market uh, merchants. I forget what it is, but you, you know. And then you get a little bit of adventure XP in a few parts. I mean, you could do these if you really want to grind these, but these are more of a distraction from what I'm trying to do in the game. So I avoid those lately. Um, as for parts, you know, I'm focusing on shipbuilding, so I'm going to go over to, uh, you know, Caribbean over here. And a few of these ports have certain parts for the ships I want to build at the shipyard, so I'm going to invest in those ports. Yeah, I might even make some blue ge uh, gems and some uh, dividends off that. And dividends are always good. So we get a while to go. But this is the game. This is what it is. Next time I make uh, I make a video about this, I might have my little backpacker guitar over here. I haven't played much guitar in a long time for a lot of reasons. I got sick. My creative ideas just kind of went poof. I had like a creative block for the longest time. I was more focused on my health. I don't need to talk about my health issues so much right now. Everybody has a, you know, a sick experience, you know. Except for the few people that uh, can go 20, 30 years claiming they've never been sick. <laughs> hey, I did pretty good up until, um, jeez. I was made, might have been about 32, 33 when I got really, really sick. But I used to work out, um, I used to do a lot of construction, heavy lifting, climbing through old buildings, going in a lot of old ceilings, and that's why my voice comes and goes, because I, you know, used to get exposed to a lot of stuff, which uh, sometimes I wasn't always aware of. It's sent to a job and I'd end up in a ceiling next to a bunch of asbestos. It shouldn't be there. But anyway, I said I wouldn't talk about that here. What else could I talk about? You know, Elden Ring is in my playlist. So that's a game I need to finish. I haven't been focused on it. But I know there's an expansion coming out, so... I'll try and make some time for that. Um... It's always Quake, which is my uh, cardio game. <laughs> that game gets my heart pumping more than any other game, really. 
And again, there's also the VR stuff. I guess I can do some Beat Saber stuff. I was thinking about it, but then again, because all the music, there's copyrights on YouTube, so I haven't really messed with that much. Could try and launch this up in VR again, like I've done with some games when I go into uh, the Oculus home with the uh, sailing ships. And why not? I still just could have the quest too. I don't know when I'll be getting a new VR headset or if I will. I mean, depends. I have to use it for more than just games. So you, use, you know, I can use it for certain projects. Which I haven't really put together yet. I got the new card, I got some I got some more RAM. And hopefully this AV1 encoding thing that's gonna be out for OBS, which may or may not by now, I gotta check again, but I, mean, I guess I won't need a capture card. Because you know I looked at those a few times. But I never got one. I managed to make it work sometimes with the, when I had the 2060S card. But oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Ray tracing. This game, the atmosphere, could be doing something with the ray tracing, right? I mean, this game isn't super fast in motion, so maybe, you know, DLSS, you know, wouldn't do too much for it, but the ray tracing for the lighting? Oh yeah, come on, let's see some god rays through the uh, clouds, you know, on the sails, reflecting the water. Come on, this could, this could have ray tracing all over it. They could really make it look beautiful. They do have um, cloth simulation, which is an option. Uh, if I pull up the menu and go to settings, it's actually right here under graphics. So there's cloth physics, it's a test feature. They try to make it look, the sails look a little more realistic and the wind. What I haven't noticed is when the headwind, how the uh, wind fills the sails, doesn't change too much yet. But that might in time, I don't know. Six days of sailing left. So I'll definitely put timestamps in the video for anybody who's just like, nope, I'm not waiting through that. <laughs> Maybe nobody gets time for that. I know how it is. I remember when I didn't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, get some food. It's always good. Let's zoom back into the deck for a bit. See what everybody does.
<laughs> I can't help myself. I can always appreciate a contagious laugh. Should I zoom back out to the sails? I think I will. But it's good to check in on everybody on the deck every now and then. See if they update any of the animations. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, we're in a headwind. 12.4 knots. Yeah, we're running out of supplies. Well, it's pretty close. Two days. Two days of supplies. Alright. We're getting there. I hope this game eventually updates the sea regions, because one of the nice things I liked about Uncharted Waters Online was if you pulled up the chart, you could see the name of the sea regions around the world. And because I'm not from over this area, I don't know the name of that, <laughs> this, this area. This is a gulf of something. There's a, another gulf of something here, I think, and I'd have to look it up. Some villages I discovered. Shows me where they all are. And then my other discoveries. And the Grotto, Turkish Steps, Niger River, um, Kashir Falls. Is that how you say that? Kashir? I don't know. Stone Edge. Bayatara Gorge? I don't know. Falai Temple. Palai. I think the H is silent. I think I've heard of this before, the Palai Temple. Pretty neat. This is the Discoveries. Where is that? Journal. Discoveries. Yeah, I found a bunch of stuff. A Portuguese man of war. Spitting cobra, a white suckerfish. And look at how many more there are. There's like hundreds of creatures to discover. Oh yeah, it says it right here, 901. 145 plants, 439 pieces of architecture, 299 of these artifacts. 
259 of these. So what can I receive here? I guess I finished partial collection. So what will that give? Oh, all right. Achievement points. So. Some more under cities. Stage two done. Okay. Ah, stage three. Look at this. Completely missed that these were here. So if you did, go in and check. So where does that put me? I think I have to click on storage. No, I have to click on achievements. And there it is. So now I get more of these um, contributions, which will help me buy more ship parts. That's a big deal to get these. And the other one's unlocked. Very nice. I get money along with it. 10,000 of those. Combine with the other one, and there we go. That's a really nice. Glad I just stumbled upon that. Seriously, there's a lot to do, and um, you get a lot of rewards for everything you keep up with. And if you enjoy the game, all the rewards are pretty useful. Even if they aren't immediately, they everything is eventually like pretty useful in some way. So they don't fill your inventory up with crap you'll never use. There's a couple things you might not need that might take up a slot when you don't want to pay 20 blue gems, but most of the time it's worth throwing down 20 blue gems or so to expand a slot. Uh oh, so the flashing red is because I'm out of food and I have 30 seconds to get to port or I'm, I'll lose people. And I, th I think I'll make it. Yep. Yes, I did. I made it. I'll become an undying flame. That's the spirit. Huh? Well, it's not a gift. Hmm. You're going to gift it to someone. Uh. <laughs> Good. Now I can go even faster. Nice. That's why I like speed. Keep at it. So now our relationship with her went up to level two. Get some battle XP. And you would go I'm sure right back. I can trust you, Admiral. In there, and if you have gifts to give her, you could do that. These are fine. You can burn. You can just give these away. You know, some use them on the stock. My um, ugh, on the auction house. Hmm? You know, but and you can brag about a discovery. But if you brag about a discovery to one employee. It's gone. You used it up. You know, you can't brag to another. And then there's chats you can do. It's hard to get up, so... If you want to exit... Change your job. Watch a little more. <laughs> Exercise with me? Mm -mm. Uh-huh. Okay. So yeah, you can chat about stuff. And once we're max friendship, we can do the next one. But that's it. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching if you stuck it around till the end. Um, have a good rest of your day. And be well.